Hey guys, this is Lion Judah from the Guild 7 from Thunderhorn Server. I uh, wanted to make a little video real quick on the recent news of Legion uh, and what the developers had said about removing the requirement for proving grounds for heroic dungeons. It's kind of a moot point. Let's just be honest. How hard is it to get a silver proving ground? Uh, people are maybe up in arms about it and complaining that it should stay in and you know or it should be harder but even if it was harder even if it stayed in there is zero accountability and that is where the true problem lies it isn't whether people are skilled to play this game some people have been playing this game for 10 years some people may have been playing only you know maybe for 10 minutes but let's just be honest here uh, a lot of the people that have been playing world of warcraft or know how to play a basic mmo know how to play the game pretty well Enough to get a silver, a silver proving ground anyway. But this is what we as WoW players encounter on the daily. So let me break it down for people. If you go into a five-man dungeon, you have your silver proving ground, and you're running with someone else, some random guy you have, you know, let's say from Zangar Marsh. No offense for him from Zangar Marsh. Uh, and you go in there, and his name's Lobo, and he's a rogue. And he does, like... You know, 10k DPS while everyone else is pulling like well over like, you know, 75, 50, whatever the case is. He has a silver proving ground because he did all the mechanics were needed for silver proving ground. That doesn't mean that Lobo, the rogue, can't be lazy and just basically auto attack and do practically nothing in that dungeon. There's zero accountability. And the only thing policing that player are the players. So, for instance, if the other four people don't want him in the, in the group, they will put up with him. Meaning, most players, when they're running dungeons, around this time, you know, leisurely or whatever, everyone's pretty lazy. Let's just be real. I'm trying to be as real as possible in a real situation. So, most people that want, like, let's say they're like, dude, this rogue's doing, like, 7k DPS. Like, what the hell are you doing? Like, even most auto-attack players at level 100 with decent eye level can do, like, 15 auto-attack. It's so like he's purposefully trying to do nothing. And you basically, you can kick that player, but you need a group vote. Meaning most people are that lazy to not even vote. Like, I'm not even joking on this whole matter. I mean, you've probably experienced it time and time again. You're like, kick the row. Like, why is no one voting? Why is no one doing anything? Because they're that lazy. That it's just, the toxicity now is so normal. It is a normal thing we encounter. That people, we're expecting to carry people. Good people, when they queue in any random scenario, whether it's the pre-made group finder, LFR, LFG, we're all planning to carry someone. And the only time I've ever seen real players like actually kick someone is like a tank Mostly tanks, because healers, especially now, you can kind of, like, get away with, um, because there's hardly any healing to be done. Usually bad DPSers will stay in. I, majority of the time, they will stay. So, really, the problem isn't with Blizzard getting rid of this implementation, or getting rid of the implementation of Proving Ground Silver. It's what needs to happen for accountability. Accountability is the greatest thing in the world. You see, in the real world, you know, we have laws. The reason why we have laws is because if we don't, everyone would be pillaging, raping, and murdering people, you know, against, you know, with their free will. And in World of Warcraft, there is no such thing as the police. There is no such thing as, you know, um, Blizzard putting their, you know, foot down and banning people. To a certain extent, yes, they will do excessive cussing or whatever, blatant, like, racial slurs or whatever whatever but i'm talking about just being a bad player you know not following mechanics not doing the dps dying you know on purpose just to be carried you know that's the thing that i'm talking about the things that make it unpleasant you know i'm the, of course the most radical stuff of course those people will be banned and rightfully so but accountability there's nothing in the game that strongly affects accountability like, if you were monitored, like, whenever you're going, right, and you're doing Call of Duty, or you're doing any type of, like, first-person shooter, there are stats 
that are telling you in the match, you know, what people's kills are, how many times they've been killed, you know, like how they're doing as a contributing player to the team. And I feel like there's no type of a stat sheet. There's no type of accountability. So me as a good player, like, you know, on my hunter, I can go into a dungeon, man, and I can just auto shot all day. I mean, I'm in 729 eye level. Like, I can just go in and not give a flying fuck like most people do. And I just feel like it's unfair. And it's basically at the point now where it's it's the norm. It really is. It's the norm. And I see videos right now where people are, like, you know, kind of up in arms about it. And they're like, they're getting rid of the Proving Ground system. And, well, Blizzard, come on. I mean, they don't want to improve upon it. They, they did it and missed. And they're just like, eh, like, we'll just kind of faded into the background like brawlers guild you know it's just how it is you know they're focused on other things so clearly the things that would make the game a better environment they're clearly not wanting to work on it's almost like they're promoting toxicity they're kind of encouraging it at this point um and you know there was another discussion i heard about community and well guys i mean they just let me just be honest here because this whole thing on vanilla you know, WoW servers and all sort of stuff. Community is dead. The only community you'll ever have in this game is your guild. Join a great guild, make some great friends, and pretty much forget everyone else. Because your realm is basically a spawn for trolls. Um, LFG, LFR, pre are all spawn for trolls. It's really hard to find good people. You know, good, it's always, it's, you know, even in real life, it's always hard to find good people. Good people, to finding good people is hard. So, it's one of those things that I want Blizzard to kind of do. And it's really funny because I'm playing Overwatch and they're doing something for accountability on Overwatch. They do this whole like plus one system or like a thumbs up, like, hey, this person did like the most kills and this person like died only like two times. And, you know, you can, you can, you can't plus one yourself, but you can only plus one other players. Like, just imagine if something like that was in World of Warcraft, in just a dungeon or a raid where you can plus one someone else's, you know, performance. Like, if you have a, a person that has, like, a hundred, you know, thumbs ups and you meet someone in, like, you know, let's say that's six months, right, into the expansion, and you see another person that's done, like, you know, 150 dungeons and has zero thumbs ups, well... There might be a problem, guys, because he's clearly done 150 dungeons It's no one's ever plus one him. And if there was just some type of stat sheet that basically showed the caliber of the player, I'm pretty sure it's not even about the accountability because people will see this player is no good. Are we even willing to basically get this player, you know, in our random, should we just kick him now? Like, like let's just see how he does or whatever. And you can say the same thing about how it is right now. But all I'm saying is with that type of account, with that type of accountability and that type of like system in place, people would be trying to get that plus one. People would be trying to like up a reputation, let's say like if it was a character specific reputation that you can display kind of like a prestige to others to letting them know like, hey, I'm exalted with my own performance, you know, or revered or honored. And because it might be a hard system to where you can actually go up in prestige and even come down. So that way, if you're on a bad day or whatever, and you're just being a dick, like your reputation starts going down, you can even de-level your reputation. I think that would be a more interesting system um, to have in place that'll actually be somewhat rewarding and disrewarding to others that probably should deserve it. And, you know, I'm not a Blizz developer, but I'm just saying, like, there needs to be accountability in this game for once. I mean, Blizzard, for really, for once, have accountability. I mean, you we've been policing the players for a long time, and look how that's turned out. It's pretty much turmoil. It's t it's all toxic. You know, no one even wants to reach out to help anyone else because they just fear you're a troll, you're, you know, you're baddie, whatever. And that's what it all boils down to. Guilds only help guilds. It's like clicks, you know? Like, you don't help anyone other than the people in your clique. And that's a bad spot to be in. It really is. And, um... We can only police so much in our own realms, in our own servers. So, I don't know. I just, <laughs> it's kind of funny, like, when people were talking about this whole, like, getting rid of the Proving Ground system is a travesty. And I'm like, it's been a travesty. What are you even talking about? Even right now, I can go into, you know, an LFG and literally have a person doing crap. And he has a silver, you know, dragon portrait, you know, indicating he did silver Proving Grounds. It doesn't mean crap. It doesn't mean anything. 
So to me, I could care less about that. Um, I would just rather have an accountability system in place. Get rid of proving grounds completely. I'm fine with that. Just put in something that makes players accountable for what they do. Excuse me, for what they do in the game. And I think if that system was in place, the world of Warcraft would be a much better place. Um, that's pretty much the end of my video, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Give me that one thumbs up, guys. And if you like my content, subscribe. Uh, I will hopefully be putting more Legion content up soon. Um, if Blizzard decides to actually give me beta or uh, alpha access, I'll be more than happy to put up more videos. But as of right now, I can only give my interpretation of how I feel with the news as of late with this whole Proving Grounds business. So take it as you will. I mean, it's whatever. But I would really like to hear your thoughts. What kind of system do you think should be in place other than the Proving Grounds? Do you think the Proving Grounds are a success? Do you think they need to be built upon? Or do you think it should just be removed completely and maybe add a, an accountability system like I'm talking about? Uh, let me know, guys, in the comments section below. And I'll see you guys later.